Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Tarek and today we discuss the chemical resistance of plastics and uh, this video will give you an overview in particular for material selection. Okay, let us first start with an uh, important, important topic, the so-called trinity out of thermal chemicals and time. So when we have uh, or plastic application in an environment, it gets impacted um, by different factors such as the chemicals it is exposed to, the time, and also thermal, like temperature or in general energy. It can be also UV light, and they interfere with, it, with each other. And for example, increased temperature with chemical exposure can. Um, uh, will immediately increase certain degradation process of the plastic part. And also then, when you add then also time on the top, so with a certain period of time, this will even reinforce. So in general, the, the chemical resistance of polymers towards certain chemical compounds can be estimated at different temperatures and times. And usually you have um, uh, tests at standard temperature for 30 days where you immerse, for example, a tensile bar in a specific chemical and then test, for example, tensile strength uh, before and after the 30 days. And you can even add up some, some temperature. And when you think in material selection, polymer material selection, the preparation phase is one of the most important phases and in this phase uh, the aim is to collect as much information on environmental conditions as possible of your future part so when you know that the part is exposed to salt uh, like an automotive environment then you can consider whether to make a a salt uh, test, salt spray test to learn about the impact of salt of your of your selected uh, pre-selected polymers. Okay, let's have a look at the chemical resistance of plastics. Um, uh, in the table on the right, you can see selected or most used engineering plastics, so ABS, POM, uh, aliphatic nylons, for example, and. Uh, you can see already also on the different um, uh, letters here, for example, N is not affected, SA is slightly affected, and A is affected. You can see that APS, for example, has a, has a, has a robust chemical resistance. Also the aliphatic nylons, it's just the acids and also salt, which affects them and uh, similar picture at, uh, at the polyesters like polyethylene in the of the lab uh, is already more affected and also polycarbonate we have to be careful the same with ppe there was a certain uh, so it's not affected by strong acids strong bases and salt solution um, also commodity plastics like a polypropylene has a good chemical all over resistant and it's also always these categories that you take a strong acid, a strong base, some salt, aromatics, gas, alcohol, ketones and all the heights is a, so with, with that you get a very good feeling. And however, the specific grade, what you select, needs to be also then tested uh, or checked again towards the chemical it will be exposed in the final application. And the good thing is most material suppliers, they have already done extensive testing, which you can ask them that they provide you the data. So here we have now again a, a detailed look. I will link you also the, the table in the description below that you can download and use it during material selection. And a part of engineering in polymers, I have here also a table of the chemical resistance of high performance polymers there you can clearly see that uh, ptfe for example here on the left it is effect there is no effect of the chemical so it's really this fluor um, 
really prevent a chemical attack of the main uh, backbone because the fluor atoms are, are much bigger than the, the backbone, so it's really protecting the backbone. Followed by polyether eta ketone and liquid crystal polymers, also uh, excellent chemical resistance. Um, also uh, PPS and PPA, so also PPS is really up to 200 degrees, it has basically no chemical which can dis destroy it. So, and also high performance polymers, the, the structure itself, the aromatic structure in most cases, is already helping to elevate the chemical resistance level. I will also link you this in the description below. Um, okay, I would like to thank you for watching for today and looking forward till next time. Bye.